Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we thought we would do something a little bit different. The other day I took a little poll on Instagram and asked if you guys wanted to see a Q&A video and pretty much everyone said yes. So apparently you guys want to get to know us a little bit better. So um, I did like a little questions thing on Instagram and you guys sent in so many good questions. So we're gonna take like the top 10. I feel like there were a lot of like the same questions. So we're gonna go through and answer all 10 of those questions and cook with you guys. Something a little different, something fun. What are we making tonight? We're making steak with potatoes. We signed up for Home Chef, which is like a meal service. So they kind of just like deliver everything to your house and you can cook it. So yeah, we're gonna cook that with you guys and answer all of your questions. Okay, I'm actually getting ready to place next week's order. And I wanted to show you guys like kind of how it works and like the options. So basically it gives you like your four options here. Um, and then if there's something that like, you don't like, then you have like 14 other things that you can choose from and kind of like swap it out. But they have so many like delicious options. Like look at these, buffalo chicken lettuce wraps. Heck yes, definitely ordering those. Just so many yummy things. So like it really doesn't matter if you're like a picky eater or if you're trying to eat healthy, like they have options for everyone. What are we making tonight? Sirloin steak with blue cheese compound butter. I love steak, he loves steak, and honestly, I'm more of like a veggie person, so I'm pretty darn excited about the potatoes and the green beans. I'm gonna eat all steak. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, this is where we need olive oil, salt, pepper, cooking spray, and then preheat oven 400. Okay, easy enough, let's do this. Let's get started with these questions. So, first one is how long have you been together? We started dating July 10th, 2007. That's impressive. We got the date memorized. <laughs> so, we dated for six months and then he proposed to me. Christmas morning. Christmas morning. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Pretty crazy, but... Put a ring on it. But we've been married. We got married like two years later, so we had like a long engagement. We got married in... 2009. 2009. <laughs> yeah. So this year we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary. So crazy. We got kind of big. We are to like a long cruise or something. We like cruises. So actually the next question on the list was when did you get married, which I kind oh. of already answered that one. <laughs> Jump in the gun. Jump in the gun. No, you're just too good. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm impatient. I'm just jumping on to the next thing. Which is why Laura? No. <laughs> which is why he's a better cook than me. I don't really have patience for all of this, but I do enjoy eating, so I guess I have to enjoy cooking too. <laughs> Alright, so what's the next question? The next question is how old are you? Old. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm turning 30 in March. I'm pretty excited about it though. I feel like it's like a good 30. I feel like people have like their, oh my god, I'm turning 30, where it's like the world's ending. But for me, I'm like, holy crap, I'm 30. But it's like a good thing. I feel like pretty good about our life and what we've accomplished and everything. I've already gone through the whole 30 year old thing. I'm 32. And uh, I, I don't think 30 was a big deal, but. We'll see, what the, we'll see what she thinks when she actually turns 30. Yeah, I feel like we need to like record my response like when I wake up, like, am I excited? Like, let's do this, or do I have a meltdown? <laughs> oh, 30. Oh, geez, I don't know. We'll see. You guys, this was the most asked question. Like, I am not even kidding you. Every single one of you asked. 
<laughs> we had like a million. <laughs> and I get it. Like we've been married almost 10 years and we don't have kids. You guys are like, when are you gonna have kids? <laughs> So we do want kids for sure. Um, we both come from really big families, which is like cool. Like I was one of six, he was one of five. So we always grew up with like really big families. And then I have older siblings and he does as well. So like everyone just has a lot of kids. <laughs> but I think we, I, I'm not exaggerating. I think we literally have 20 nieces and nephews. And like my sister-in-law is pregnant right now. So yeah, like there's always a new baby. So I think that's kind of like one of the reasons why we haven't started a family yet, just because like we always have so many kids around us. Yeah. Um, and we also enjoy traveling and just kind of like living life on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did say I wanted to have kids when I was 30. So we're there guys, Let's see what happens. Probably about time. It's about time, it's about that time. <laughs> so the next question, where did you go to college? I'll let you answer that one. <laughs> Where did I go to college? Where did you go to college? <laughs> we can answer your half. So, I went to college at a uh, small school uh, near where I grew up, and it's called St. Leo University. Um, I don't even know the enrollment there, but it was definitely pretty small. Class sizes are around like 20, 25 students usually, so it was really, really nice, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, Got a degree in sport business, and um, then pursued a career in banking. So, yeah. Um, how about you? Where'd you go to college? I didn't, you guys. The school of hard knocks. <laughs> Is that what you say? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so I didn't. I was like never one that like liked school. I just kind of like skirted by. I always like was creative, so I thought like I wanted to go to cosmetology school or fashion school, but like nothing ever really spoke to me. So I just ended up like getting a job. I worked two retail jobs when we first got together, and I just retail is tough. Like anyone that does it, like more power to you. It's crazy hours, crazy schedules. So I knew I wanted something like more stable. And since he was working at a bank, he had like a nine to five, had weekends off, and I was always working weekends. So. Um, I ended up getting a office job. I worked in accounting. I was an accounts receivable clerk for a corporate office. I handled like invoices and like literally sat at a desk all day and it's miserable. I hated it. I hated it, but I did it for like seven years. Um, and here I am today. I don't think <laughs> that was a look of concern. He's like, you're doing it wrong. I think there's like a garlic press or something that like does this for you because, mm. <laughs> let me look, I think we might have one. <laughs> this is, this is a how not to mix garlic. I'm like not doing it right. I'm telling you, we put them here, let me look in here. Aha. Cheater. <laughs> no, this is how like normal people do it. I don't think anyone sits there and chops it with a knife. I did okay, last time, but I'm not normal. Oh no, I don't know if it's working. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, you got something going on there. Something happened. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think it worked. No, perfect. <laughs> Helping us cook. Yeah. You guys smell good. And sit down. Sit down. Oh, that's a good boy. Hello, little brother. Hi, Seppy. Oh, you're so good, boys. Like, 
question is, so this is kind of like a twofold question. So you guys wanted to know what I did before blogging and then also what he does. What is your job, Marky Joe? I am a full-time photographer, videographer. Instagram husband. Instagram husband. <laughs> All of the above. So. I've been blogging full time for two and a half years, and then he started working with me full time last year. So you're like a year and a half in now. Yeah, a year and a half ago. I, I quit my job in July, a year and a half ago. What did you do before? I did corporate. This is really messy. This is like not sticking together. It's like sticking to me. I'm supposed to like make a disc. You're supposed to make a disc out of the butter, and it's kind of like a, a blob. All right. Okay, sorry, but, uh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, so. So um, I was in uh, commercial finance for eight years. Um, I worked at a small community bank, and uh, it wasn't exactly exciting, but you know, I paid the bills. Um, and then I worked in accounting for seven and a half years. It was the most boring job of all time. I would literally spend. So I was like really good at my job. So like I could get it done so fast, and then. I had nothing to do all day, so I'd sit on Pinterest and Instagram and read other people's blogs. So that's kind of how all of this started. Yeah, it's kind of how you got the idea to, to get yeah. into blogging to begin with. It was boredom at my, <laughs> <laughs> at my corporate job. Just launched everything. Alright, next question. What's the next question? Who takes your pictures? She takes my pictures. <laughs> so he takes all, all the ones of me, obviously, and then when we take pictures together, he sets up a tripod and does it. It's magic. I don't know. <laughs> we have a tripod um, and we use a remote system. Remote system. And we just set it to burst with autofocus and kind of dance around like monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hope for the best. So yeah, we end up with a lot of pictures, a lot of extra stuff, but it's kind of cool that you get to like shoot your own pictures. And then we just don't like inconveniencing anyone because sometimes we just like decide to go like last minute and just like do a quick photo shoot. So yeah, it's just really easy if we just do it ourselves. It works out pretty good. Yeah, and he's got skills. Skills. Pays the bills. Check those potatoes. Mmm. Mm. You look good. Mm, so good. Hungry. Hungry. Mm. Alright, how many more questions do we have? I don't know how, how many we answered. We're almost, we're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. Next question is How long have you been blogging and how did you get started? Ooh. Alright, so like I said, I kind of started when I had my old job in accounting. Um, and that's kind of just something I did, like once I discovered Instagram and other bloggers, like I just started kind of like taking pictures of my outfits. <laughs> it was so bad, like, and they're, they're all on there. I have like over 3,000 pictures posted. So if you like have some time and want to scroll back, you can see where it all began. So I would actually like walk into my office bathroom and take like a downward picture of my outfit. I mean, I guess it was cool. Like that's what people did like back in the day on Instagram. I think this was probably like 2014, I think the beginning of 2014. Um, and then I would take pictures of like my nails and like just random stuff that like I liked. And that's like honestly how my Instagram started. And so obviously like I got a little better at it and we started taking like actual, <laughs> actual outfit pictures and like going out and like planning my outfits, planning somewhat of photo shoots. Like mm -hmm. we still didn't really know what we were doing. It was just like more so for fun. And then it just kind of grew from there. I think what like set it off was Express reposted one of my pictures. Cause I always like, when I wore an outfit, like I got questions like, oh, where are your jeans from? Just from like some of my like high school friends and stuff like that. So I would like put a tag on each thing. So like my shirt would have a tag that said like, was from Forever 21 and my jeans would be from Express and my shoes were like whatever they were. So I guess Express saw one of my pictures because I wore like the same pair of jeans pretty much every single day when I wasn't working. They had like rips all over them. They were like my favorite jeans ever. So Express reposted my picture and I gained like a bunch of followers and 
I think that's kind of like what set it off. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so cool. Like this can actually be something. And then like mm -hmm. I started taking it really seriously. And then I launched my blog in what's that? January of 2016. Um, and then after I did that, I feel like that's when it like got real serious and I started spending like a lot more time on my content. Ooh, not good. So I think I started taking it like really seriously when I got my blog launched and everything. And then six months later, I decided to quit my job and I like wasn't making very much money at all from blogging. Like I was just like ready to leave my job. I was just ready to like do something different. So I figured I would just try to blog full time and just see what happened. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna give myself three months and see what happens. If I don't make any money, if this doesn't go anywhere, I'll just like go get another job somewhere and just try something else. So. I did, and in that three months, like everything just kind of like took off. Like since I was spending more time on it, my blog grew. I just became became more consistent with my content. I think everything just got better. Like my blog posts got better. I was able to like engage with people and like respond to questions and comments. And I think that's what helped like grow my audience. They became like a more loyal audience because I could spend more time like you know, engaging with them and answering their questions and like just sharing more outfits and stuff like that. So yeah, I think, I feel like that's like a really long answer, but I that's feel a, like- That's a short answer. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a short answer. I feel like I could just like talk all day about blogging and everything, but yeah, that's how I got started. Okay. <laughs> the next question is for you. For me? Cause like, I need a break after all that. Um, <laughs> what camera do you, you use? Uh, starting off, we took pictures with just an iPhone. Um, probably, I don't even know what phone, iPhone it was back then. iPhone. Oh my gosh, like three, four. What are the OG iPhone. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, so a little brown. Woo! Brown. Burning up. Burning up. Burn 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 um. <laughs> okay. In my defense, this is like a gas stove, and I've been cooking on it for like not that long. So. So we uh, we started with the uh, with iPhone, um, and then we went on a cruise actually, and we decided to buy a point and shoot camera. It was a Canon something I forget. Um, but anyway, so we started using that to shoot our blog posts with and do all of our Instagram pictures with that. Oh my gosh, it was so funny! I have to like add this in there. So like you know how like pictures have like a blurry background. We literally didn't know how to do no, that. No so idea. Our camera didn't do that. And I would, I would sit there and I'm like, how like, how do I get like that blurry background? Like I want those little like speckles and dots behind me. So like I tried like every app, I would like blur it with like different things. And I was like, this is not it. <laughs> and if you are like new to photography or just clueless on cameras, like we were, you like they have cameras and lenses that do that. <laughs> So it's not an editing app, it's you have a type of camera that does that. So yeah. yeah we'll, we say, we'll save that for another, uh, we another uh, video. Yeah, you, if you guys want like a, how we shoot our pictures, like a behind the scenes kind of thing, like what settings he uses and like vlogging behind the scenes, let us know. I think that'd be really fun to do. Kind of show like how we take our pictures, how we get the shot, and then how we edit. That's the yeah. magic. Yeah, YouTube kind of uh, spurred the, the our interest in getting another camera that had uh, better autofocus capabilities, and now we're shooting mostly on the uh, Canon 5D Mark IV. But um, to be honest, most of our pictures now, well, maybe about 50-50, are iPhone pictures. iPhone, yep. Yeah. So you don't always need the expensive gear no, to get a good picture. No, you really don't. Like, honestly, if you have an iPhone, you can be a blogger. And honestly, like, the video on iPhones is so good now. Like you could literally do YouTube videos on your iPhone and like be totally fine. Yeah, if you go and look at our Aruba trip, um, a lot of the Aruba a lot trip of that, was yeah. actually filmed on an iPhone 8 Plus, I think it was. Yeah, time. I'll put the video here if you guys oh, want to watch that. It's like one of our favorite videos and favorite trips. Like I, I want to go again. Yeah, we need to go back. But maybe yeah, maybe so. for my birthday. The uh, the iPhone is is great for a lot of that. So just. And now there's even the portrait mode. So if you want to get, you know, both yeah. pictures and you don't want to invest in the yeah. DSLR, you, you can, never use that. You, you can use portrait use mode on there. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the Good. short version of the camera gear. So she went long on hers, I went long on mine, but uh, there's a lot behind, like I said, getting into blogging, there's a lot behind 
the photography that goes into it and the it editing is time. Like honestly, you just learn as you go. Like everyone's like, oh, like how do you get started? Like what do you do? Like you don't walk into vlogging like knowing what to do. It's stuff that you just like learn over time. Like as you take your pictures, you're like, oh, I want my pictures to look more like this. And then you're like, okay, I need to do, I need to get a different type of editing or I want bokeh in my pictures, so I need a different type of camera. Like honestly, it just like evolves over time. So don't feel like if you are starting vlogging, don't feel like you have to have it all figured out going into it. Like we were so clueless. Like it, we literally had no idea what we we're doing. We just kind of like, did it and then just like figured it out along the way. So, a little advice for you if you're starting out. Is dinner done? I'm so hungry. I feel like we're like pretty much done, pretty right? What's the I next think step? we're done. We'll I think that. we just have to plate it. Done. Done. I think we're done. We put it on the plate. Oh. Is that steak done? I think it looks, it looks okay. done. Right, done. And I feel like we have like one question left. Oh. One question left. One question. All right. All right, oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. So we have our roasted potatoes and then some steak, which looks and smells so good. And then the green beans that I kind of burned, <laughs> but I hope they still taste good. <laughs> Just a little brown, they're okay. Um, but I will put like this whole recipe down below. Um, this Everything is from Home Chef. Like I said, they just kind of deliver you like the meat, the veggies, everything is like pre-portioned. So it's super easy, super amazing. Um, and then they also give you like the recipe card that just tells you like how to do everything. So yeah, it's really cool. Like we're kind of obsessed with it. It just makes cooking so much easier. Yeah, it's really nice to have everything in one place and not have to worry about, oh, did I buy this? Did I buy that? Do I have to go to the grocery store and make a list? They do it for you. It and just comes good. right to you. So good. Perfect. <laughs> All right, last question. And then we're gonna eat. Last question is, how many kids do we want? How many kids do we want? I'm gonna say 10. Not nah, happening. <laughs> um, realistically, probably, probably three. Like, I like three. I feel like that's like a good number. I mean, you're technically outnumbered, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like three is a good number. Like, like one boy, two girls. I'm not, I don't really care. Like, as long as they're healthy and happy babies, like, that's all I care about. So, probably three, but if we have three and want more, then maybe four. So, I don't know. We don't have any yet, but I feel like three is, like, a good number. So, that's a good number. Three kids. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Something different, getting to know us and cooking. Like I said, I will list the recipe down below. Um, and, yeah, check out Home Chef. They're, like, super convenient. Pretty amazing. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. We have two cups begging down here for our steak. And they're probably each going to get, you're going to get a bite. Don't worry, bud. You always get steak. Don't worry. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!